Welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about the last activity in the test data queue. Okay, so uh, in the previous videos we have seen different activities in the test automation in, which is offered by UIPA. Also, uh, we have seen how to create this uh, test data queue, how to set up the test automation suite. And this will be the last video which is explaining the activities of the test automation. Okay, so we have to cover the test manager and all that will be covering in the next videos okay so all these uh, features or the functionality that we have already covered and in this video we are going to learn about get test data queue item okay so uh, what is this it extracts a data row from a specified test data queue okay so we have seen uh, how to create a test data queue and how to add data to this queue item and uh, in the last video we uh, understood like what is the difference between the test data queue and the normal orchestrator queue right and in the last video we created a uh, test data queue as well so uh, i'll be going into that queue and we'll be using the same queue for this demo and uh, before that let me go to uh, the document for this get test data queue item okay so description is same like extracts a data row from a specified data test data queue and what are the features or the properties so for first one is a display name and the, there should be an input field okay so the input field is like where we have to provide the uh, queue name okay so that we have created in the uh, uh, orchestrator okay so that uh, test queue name we have to provide inside this input property and again the private property is there uh, if you are enabling that it will not capture in the verbose level log and there is an uh, output field okay so in the output field it will create a variable which is a property dictionary string and object okay so that's it and uh, let's go to our orchestrator here we have to go to orchestrator we need to go to our automotive auto folder we need to go to testing then we need to go to test data queues okay and this is the queue which we created in the last session right and we have added uh, uh, eight items to the queue and let me view the items okay so these are the items which added to the queue and currently the status is is consumed is null because it means the particular test, test data is not uh, consumed yet okay and uh, there is a uh, unique id which auto auto populated and here we have the json content okay so this is the data which we uploaded and if you try to get the data using this get test data activity it will uh, get this like a um, dictionary okay so this will be the key and this will be the value so i will tell you how to use that for that let me open up the test automation demo um, project and uh, i have opened this test case dot xml okay and go to activities let me search for get test uh, sorry okay so get test queue item just drag and drop that activity okay then what are the properties available here we have the display name and the queue name we need to provide the queue name right so let me get the queue name what is the queue name queue name is auto boat queue okay so let me put it we have to put it inside double quotes okay auto boat queue and we need to create a variable output variable i am just keeping it lighter out out data okay and the variable is created and it is of type uh, dictionary okay i think how to got created okay okay so a dictionary of type string and object okay so that is our variable save it and uh, the purpose is like we need to get the item from the queue right so with this property we'll be able to get only value one by one that is first in first out okay so whatever the value that we added to the queue for the first that will be uh, uh, getting uh, for the first time okay so that's how it is working so each row row we can get it uh, at a time and it will get consumed okay same like how we are setting the set transaction status in the uh, orchestrator queue here if you, you utilize one uh, row of data it will auto change to is consumed okay i will show you how to do that and 
in this uh, video i'm not going to uh, open up any browser and inserting the data i'm just showing you like how to get this value from the uh, test data queue okay so for that let me open the message box okay and uh, here uh, out, out data is the uh, dictionary right so let me do one thing mm, okay so either you can use this as the uh, uh, key and you can get the value okay that is possible or uh, you can just use the dot keys and uh, you can put the index to get what is the key over there okay so here what i'm going to do is let me try to get the employee id out data employee emp underscore id dot to string plus plus let me copy this value and here what is the nesting employee name right that is emp underscore name plus uh employee job right employee job so what you can do is you can either get it to a uh, uh as an activity and you can get it to a variable and you can use that particular variable uh, in uh, your testing okay as a test data you can use that variable in your testing here i am just showing you how to get this value and how you can uh, how the value is changing in the uh, test data queue okay so uh, here we are just outputting uh, three uh, values that is employee id employee name and employee job okay so let me try to execute run run file okay so let's see which is the first value that it is going to take okay so it has taken 84 tiring data analyst okay so it has uh, taken this first value okay so it has taken the first value <coughs> click on ok so if you click on ok just uh, refresh this okay <coughs> you can see simultaneously the status of this particular row of data got changed to is concept okay so let me execute this script again now it should take the second row of data okay the employee id should be 52 uh, employee name should be spurtion okay so it has taken the second data so each and every time if it is executing it will take a new uh, row of data for the testing purpose okay and if you uh, want to use the same uh, data what you can do you can just click on this button set all items in the consume uh, queue as consume means it will uh, take all everything is consumed or if you don't want to take it into consume and you want to unconsume un means just click on this uh, button okay set all items in the queue as unconsumed let me click on this okay so if you click on that whatever the row which got consumed it will get uh, changed to unconsumed okay and if you want to delete all these items from the queue just click on this button okay so this is how you can uh, uh, work on the test data and how you can utilize the uh, uh, different set of uh, test data to test your application okay so uh, you can create different set of test data and uh, you can uh, call this uh, test case mul multiple times or even um, let me try one thing So let me add a flow chart here. Okay, let me cut this. Let me add inside this. Okay. So let's try to execute.
okay so it executed for the first time we got it like a eight tyrene uh, data analyst the first row we got it and it will uh, go for the second execution it will take the second value okay so let it execute everything it has executed Christina now it has taken Jacob now it has taken Anthony and last one is Krishna okay let me refresh this okay now you can see everything has uh, changed okay everything has changed and the status got changed to uh, is consumed is uh, enabled right let me click on okay okay and for the last time after this eighth row he throw this error okay so uh, queue is empty or, or all the items are consumed maybe if you want to stop this execution you can capture the reception and you can exit from the loop okay so this is how you can try it out if you want to uh, test all the test data in a uh, single one okay so i hope you are clear about uh, this concept and where you can utilize this uh, particular activity okay so this is a short video just to uh, understand like how to use this get test data queue item uh, uh, to get the uh, row of data which you added to your test data queue okay so if you find this video interesting please like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye